Hey folks, <laughs> how you doing? Tom here. Three Basket Living, where I try not to put all my eggs in one basket. I got a question for you though. Would you spend five or six hundred dollars for a single chainsaw chain? The reason I ask that question um, is because you know I'm out here in the back here and I'm and I'm working on cutting some wood. I'm just working on cedar right now, and um, this morning I decided to go ahead and change out my chainsaw chain, and it brought me to uh, remembering this time. It was about a year or a year and a half ago, where I was uh, trying to help out when I could this couple that had. Uh, Moved here in the Ozarks. It led into me uh, talking to him on the phone and saying, well, why don't you just go ahead and uh, start taking out some trees because they needed the firewood and they needed to open things up a little bit for uh, their future gardening. And just knock two birds out with one stone. Well, it turned out that uh, he said he couldn't do it because he needed to get to town and uh, purchase another chain so that struck up my curiosity and I thought well why do you need another chain is there something wrong with it and he said it won't cut so I asked him I said well can you just sharpen it he said no and, and he didn't know how to and I thought well okay do you have a filing kit and he said no again so I thought well all right I said why don't I come up there and I'll bring my filing kit, and uh, we'll sharpen that saw, and I'll show you how to sharpen it. And then we'll run to town and get you a $10, $15 uh, sharpening file kit. So I ended up going up there, and it turns out, you know, he changed his mind about going to town and going ahead and pick up a file kit. So no problem. I got my filing kit, and, and um, thought, well, just bring the saw out, and I can still at least sharpen the saw. Um, was that's what I was hoping, and teach him everything that I know about the chain and sharpening it. So he brings the saw out, and I look at the chain and everything, and I'm thinking, man, that's a brand new chain. I asked him, um, so what do you do with the chain when it goes dull then? He said he just threw them away. And I thought, man, well, I know he doesn't have any uh, trash service out there, and I, so I asked him if he still had them on hand. He walked out a little ways to the a big trash pile they had out there in the yard. I think they burn out there too. And he come back with a chain that he found. I looked at that chain, and it was a brand new chain as well. So I got to asking him, and I looked at him, and I said, you know, well, how much do you spend on chain for this, you know, farm boss? I think it was a 20-inch bar. And he said he thought about $28, $30 per chain. So I sat there and did some hillbilly math real quick and got a rough estimate. And I looked at him and his wife and I said, do you realize that it's costing you about five or six hundred dollars to get the same amount of work and cuts out of a designed and engineered thirty dollar chain? What you should be spending thirty dollars on, you're spending five or six hundred dollars. His eyebrows, his eyebrows opened up and his eyes, and sitting there thinking, but the expression on his wife's face, it was not so amusing. She turned around and said, "Oh my God!" and you know, shouted out his name. He just laughed it off and said, "Well, I don't know how to sharpen the chain, yo. What do you want me to do?" And I uh, thought, my goodness. So I want to share a couple things with you. Let me bring the camera in here. So what I'm going to do, I have a brand new chain here. And I'm going to talk about this brand new chain. I mean, I can go over some nomenclature of it and everything. You have your cutters. You have your drive plate. You have your drive links and so forth. We're going to focus on the cutter. And the thing that I want to point out mostly is that usually on most chain, I believe, you're going to have etchings, small etchings, a line. It may be, um, what do they call it, laser etched on there nowadays. I don't know. 
But that little marking, and you may have one on the side plate too of the cutter. It's the same piece of metal, you know, but we call top plate and side plate cutter. You'll have an etching on that top plate, and that etching is serves two purposes. And this is important. So that you're not taking a $30 chain and having that chain cost you somewhere along the ballpark of five or six hundred dollars. The first purpose of that marking is that it's going to be at an angle and that is the chain manufacturer's recommended sharpening angle with your round rat tail file. If you see a marking on the side plate or the, uh, the side cutter on the side here a lot of times it will be uh, have a curvature to it and that is just being proportional to the round rat tail sharpening file that you're using. We don't need to concern ourselves with that so much right now. The second purpose of that marking is that that is a wear mark. That is the manufacturer's recommended time that they're saying, okay, now it's time to probably retire that chain. This chain here is the same exact chain that's on my saw right now. Let me take this cutter. You see this cutter, and I don't know if you can see that little etching in that top plate cutter. And here is a cutter right here. Here's a cutter right here that's on my saw. And I'm going to put them side by side. Try to here. Now you can see the difference in this new cutter and the one that I'm still using. And I want you to take notice here how much of hardened carbon steel material is on this new chain as opposed to what is on my saw right now. I wanted to show you that so that uh, you could see the difference between a brand new chain and the chain that I'm running on my saw right now that I put on yesterday. I've already been cutting with it um, today and, uh, and, and that's when I wanted to tell this story and, and show this. So what I'd like to do is, uh, you know, just to see. Um, I'm going to take this saw, this little MS-250, and we'll take this chain here that's on the saw and we'll see how effective it is um, so that you can see that I have just as much confidence on the chain that's on here as I do a brand new chain. As long as it's not boogered up and it's properly sharpened and tuned in every now and then. So I'm going to do that without trying to pull some sort of Hollywood hocus pocus thing. You know, give it a couple of cuts. And, uh, and I'll make sure to show that. So let's do that. I'll grab my glasses, my earmuffs, and uh, get my gloves and see what happens. I just wasted that. Um, I don't know if I still need to show the chain. Um, I don't even know if you can see it. You guys with some eagle eyes can tell. The whole point of the matter is just I'm still getting a lot of usage out of that chain. So my question is is your time worth currency is 30 minutes or an hour of researching learning how to sharpen a saw worth five six maybe more 
hundred dollars that's the question um, because I still have folks around me even they just they don't want to learn how to properly sharpen a chain and at least though they are taking it to get sharpened around here it costs I think uh, to go to next town I think it's around seven dollars to have your local hardware store or something like that to sharpen your chain but that's still say if you could sharpen it if they do so properly you know you can get at least 15 20 sharpenings out there you got to be careful with some of those people that uh, are in the business of sharpening chain in some of these stores and hardware stores even in small town America because if they're in the business of sharpening chain they're probably in the business of selling chain and you got to watch them because uh, if you utilize those folks, some of them may, I'm not saying they will, but some of them may take a little more material off that cutter than necessary so that they can sell you another one. So just be careful of that. But if you can sharpen a chain 20 times, let's just say, in its life, um, and that's pretty lenient, at $7 a pop, you know, you're still looking at what? uh 20 what 140 bucks is that right yeah 140 dollars so you can take a 30 dollar chain and turn it into a 170 dollar chain just because you don't take the time to purchase a 15 dollar 10 15 dollar filing kit and take 30 minutes or an hour of your time and you'll get better as it goes on but take that time to learn how to sharpen your own chain and man, when you think about it, you can save a lot of money. You don't have to be a professional. I am not a professional chainsaw operator. I make a living with my saw, but I don't get paid currency. I get paid in the form of fuel for heat, cooking, smoking, and whatever other little projects I got going on here, just, and just cleaning up. I run my saws year round, off and on year round, but I'm still just a homeowner. And there's a lot of people out there that I'm sure know way more than I do that you can learn from. Um, I like to think that I'm a pretty good, uh, pretty good at hand filing my saws, and that's my preference. I sharpen my uh, saws by hand, and then when it's time to tune them, then that's when I use my uh, bench sharpener. From time to time, I still come across people that don't know that you can sharpen these things down properly down to a nub and still get a lot of work and effective cutting out of it. Um, I can tell by the sawdust that the rakes probably need to be taken down a couple thousands. So I hope you got something out of this. And uh, please pass it along. I just wanted to share that little story and bit of information out there just in case you didn't know about those little etched markings on the top plate cutter of your chain. That's what those markings are for, for sharpening, and it is also a wear mark. That's how much material of that high carbon hardened steel that you have to use and work with before you have to finally retire that chain. So have a nice day. May all your branches become full of fruit. Please pass it along and share with other folks, and I'll see you next time. Whoa.